The Christmas concert by Polo Piatti is full of melody, is full of harmony, is full of ideas. And the philosophy of this concerto is that people all over the world can enjoy really much this fabulous concerto. I am Giulio Tampolini, guitar player from Italy. I want just to discover new things uh, and uh, this is my way of living, my way of thinking music. I met Polo exactly four years ago and we decided to play together and uh, finally we got to this uh, idea of the world premiere of the Christmas guitar concerto. origin is basically a commission by Sergio Puccini from Argentina. He commissioned me to write a guitar concerto and suddenly I noticed that um, the tendency was to write something Christmassy. Not only the spiritual side but also the festive side. The philosophy of this Christmas concerto comes from the idea that a good melody a good harmony can create uh, fantastic emotions. Still now, people need good melodies. Uh, they need good uh, emotions thanks to this melody. If there is any value in my music, it's because of melody and the lyricism of it. Because I really think that our time needs melody and something for the heart, not only for the brain. Polo is the artistic director of the Hastings Symphonia, and as our artistic director, we get to play a lot of his compositions. It's quite a virtuoso piece for the soloist, but in terms of the orchestra, its dimensions are considerably larger than some of the pieces we play. It's scored for a very large orchestra, most of whom are involved throughout the piece. consider also the kind of writing for the guitar because Paolo Piatti is not a guitarist himself and so to write for an instrument like the guitar you need to understand something and uh, he was able in this concerto uh, to write in a way that the guitar can play very well. about learning how to write for guitar. It is quite intricate. All you learn as a composer, harmony and counterpoint, is useless with the guitar because one of the weaknesses of the guitar is it has to penetrate through the bulk of the sound of the orchestra. And this is a difficult trick. We have the benefit of having the composer at the conductor's elbow. We have a very jovial relationship about whether I'm interpreting his music as he wishes. It's a fabulous concerto and I'm sure people will enjoy it today during the concert and every time they will listen to it. It's beautifully melodic, it's extremely moving, particularly at the end. This is a moment of pure emotion, of pure joy. There is a need for more repertoire for guitar and orchestra. We need something new. Here is the score. 